we have returned. And I want to first, because I was listening to another show, and they thank their listen, their listeners for listening. So I want to thank you for listening. I appreciate Thank that. you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We do appreciate it. We do. And uh, without you, we're not on the air. That's true. Well, maybe we are, but you don't. But nobody hears us. Well, maybe that's the truth anyway. If a tree falls in the woods and nobody's around, does it make a sound? They do because I put it on the videotape and put it on my website. So they it does the tree. Up. Yeah, we're, it's a metaphor, Jim. It's a metaphor. It's the blog segment. The blog. The blog. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Debbie, we're going to move along. <laughs> are you going to ask me what I'm going to talk about today, Jim? What are you going to talk about today, Attorney Lee? Uh, I'm going to tell what do you, what do you what are you pounding there on your phone? I'm t- I'm trying to say that Alex Jones is correct. Uh huh. Sixty five thousand dollars worth of hot dogs. <laughs> Whatever that means. I, I I'm okay. not saying anything. I get it. I get it. But today. I'm what putting I, a, Debbie, I'm putting a car on it. Actually, it's on the radio. I don't know if, if my I'm putting listen, a car on it. Do my listeners okay. know? Do my listeners know? I mean, I've talked about it here, but I one of my one of my nicknames, I have a few damages. So I'm talking get... here. One of my nicknames is the hot dog guy, and that came along when I oh. got my hot dog cart because I have a little hot dog cart. I serve the very best Chicago style Vienna beef hot dogs in the world, right, Jim? I mean, I love your hot dogs. They're awesome. Have They're you ever crazy. had better? I have not had a better hot dog, ladies and gentlemen. In this your whole life. But come on, you got to have a better n- nickname than hot dog. Guy. I, I, did, I didn't, Mr. Weiner. You don't, you don't give yourself HR puff and stuff. <laughs> you don't, you don't give yourself a a, a, a Mr. Nickname. Peabody. A nicknames are given to you. You don't give them to yourself. Okay, so who uh, gave you that nickname? An eighty-five-year-old woman named No. I didn't Doris? know that when you buy. That's my <laughs> my grandmother. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know that when you get a hot dog cart, the nickname uh, Hot Dog Man comes along with it. So all the kids that I give hot dogs to, because remember I give hot dogs away. I've never heard anybody call you that. Uh, (laughs) uh, I give hot dogs away for for Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving. (laughs) That's Halloween. I give turkey hot dogs away. (laughs) Halloween is correct. Halloween is a great year. And and so I give hot dogs away. And so all the kids in the neighborhood call me the hot dog guy. And any anybody who's you know, you're the hot dog guy. Yes, I am the hot dog guy. So that's one of my nicknames. What else is one of my nicknames? I'm the IRS Radio Answer Man. Hey. That's what I am. Okay, and I have an IRS question that I'm going to answer right now. Okay, and what what I wrote, is that question? What I wrote about, and I've, you might have seen this article, because the, I, every year about this time, the IRS comes out with some stories about, we have a, this year it's, we have a billion dollars to give back to people. We have a million people that are in line. They're supposed to get this money, and, they're, and, and uh, we want to give it to them. So please come and get it. Uh, what they're talking about is there, uh, there is a time limit on how long you can collect your refund. So if you have a refund due and you don't collect it within three years, that refund is forfeited. Okay? So, and I always get this. Well, wait a minute. Can't the IRS come after me for 10 years for me to pay them? Yes, that's true. It's called the CSED date, the collection statute expiration date. And they have, the IRS has 10 years from the date that you, the, that the tax is assessed in order to come after you. However, you only have three years to to claim your money. So if you have, if I have, and this is kind of unusual because I, as you know, as a listener, you know that I help people who have unfiled tax returns. No. So just as a coincidence, in the last two weeks, I've I've helped a number of people who have unfiled tax returns, and a number of them are W two employees. What does that mean? That means they're employees who have their taxes taken out of their paychecks. And they pay their taxes, but they and they haven't filed. So one guy hasn't filed in more than ten years. Wow! He had a um, he had a got in a divorce, and he you know he's he just let it go, and he hasn't filed, and he's really worried about it because he's got a, he's got a license with the state of Illinois, and he's worried about losing his license, and and you could do that because actually not filing your tax return is a crime. But here's what happens, right? Remember, I, t- I talk about this, what they call SFRs, substitute for returns, that the, if you don't file your own tax return, the IRS will file them for you. 
And this is a way for them to assess a tax against you so they can start collecting it. Because if you don't have a filed tax return, there hasn't been a tax assessed against you, and they can't collect it. So if they think you owe them money, they will do your tax return for you. And they won't do it. And it's, it's not a service. It's a penalty, right? So they, they make your obligation look much bigger than it actually should be. And then they start trying to collect a big number that you probably don't really owe but that's what the number that they calculated for you. But what happens if you owe, if they owe you money? Well, here's what happens. They don't do anything. They don't file a tax return for you because if they calculated that you had money coming back, they'd have to give it to you. So they don't calculate it, and so they don't give it to you. And so this is what they're talking about. There's a billion dollars, a lot of money, for over a million people. So over a million people have paid more in taxes than they are than is due, but have failed to file their tax returns. So if this is you, get your, so now what we're, I said three years. So 2013 taxes were due in 2014. That 2014 is coming up. Three years would be 2017. So that deadline is coming up April 18th. Now that's something I want to get into. Why is it April? Isn't it April 15th? Remember last year, the same thing happened because they had that holiday in uh, D.C. called Emancipation Day. And Emancipation Day, and the, the law, let me read the rule. The rule for the IRS is, generally, if a due date for performing any act for tax purposes falls on a Saturday, Sunday, or legal holiday, the, the act is considered to be performed timely if it is performed no later than the next day that isn't a Saturday, Sunday, or legal holiday. The term legal holiday means any legal holiday in the District of Columbia. So there's a, a on April 16th every year they have a they have a district the District of Columbia looks uh, celebrates a a uh, the Emancipation Day that was an uh, act in Washington D.C. in 1862 that freed all the slaves. So when that day falls on a Saturday, they celebrate it on Friday. So last year that it was April 16th was Saturday. That means they celebrated on April 15th, which is the which is Friday. And that pushed the due date until Monday, April 18th. Well, this year, Emancipation Day is uh, is Sunday, but that means April 15th is a Saturday. So it pushes it to Monday. But Emancipation Day is Sunday, so that, that they celebrated on Sunday on Monday, so that pushes it to Tuesday the 18th. I know, it's kind of complicated. Wow. But that's how it works. So how this do I year, keep up with everything? So th- that's, you listen to the show, and then I'll keep you up to date on it. Okay, so... You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Or you could call me at 312-664-6649, and I w- now you won't know to answer You know what's one. easier? What's that? It's listening to the show. Or go to... ChicagoTaxTeam.com. That's, right. That's going to be your hub to help fight the That's IRS. Right. So anyway, this is a, this is important because now we have till April 18th to file your tax return. Does that mean McDonald's has a 49? Have you asked that last with? year? And I think the answer is yes. I think that's true. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think so. Okay. Well, you asked that last year. They used I said to do yes. that. That was the greatest thing in the world. I agree with that. I agree with that. But anyway. We used to go through the, the drive through and get like 500 hamburgers. <laughs> What's the most I could get? Give me that. And then go back around in circle. How? Oh, what's the most I could get? Give me that. Per person. Dad, <laughs> Dad would get the car lined up. I'm going to get in the car. Get in the car, kids. We're going, we're going for the. I know. I like that. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so this year, April 18th. And it's also going to be next year because next year, uh, Emancipation Day is going to be on Monday. And that's going to push it. And, and April 15th is going to be on Sunday. So it's going to push it to Tuesday, the 17th, next year. But this year, again, your 2013 taxes must be filed before April 18th of 2017. And if you have a refund coming, you you will lose it after that date. So, again, we're hurrying up. We do tax returns, as you know. Jim didn't push it this year, this week, but but uh, we do yes. tax returns. But one of the things that we're going to push, not only 2016 tax returns, but get your 2013 tax returns done, too, if you haven't gotten them done yet. Oh, my God. Because you'll lose that money. And if or you, 2007 for the guy you were talking about, yeah, 10 but, years. But that money, he's gone. See, and this was, well, what if they owe me money for 2007, but I owe them money for 2008? Well, here's the problem. You're going to still owe them money for 2008, uh. and you can't use that 2007 money to offset it that money's gone well and that's, ladies and gentlemen it's, a, it's not fair but that's it's the way not it is fair and that's that's, that's how it is ladies and gentlemen Stephen Leahy is there for you attorney Stephen Leahy 
312-664-6649 or visit chicagotechteam.com. That's going to be your hub. Don't fight the IRS. Or listen to the show every Sunday at 5. Because that's the easiest way to do it. On AM 560, the answer. answer. Okay, well, so. we're going to say that in 20 seconds. Yeah, so. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, stay tuned because after the commercial break from our great sponsors right here, we're going to be right back and we're going to bring you the trump a so, okay, And also the saga because yeah, so. I got something to talk right about. Right here on AM 560, the, the answer. answer.